Hello, my friend. How are you today? I am Protulia Zeta Jones, and this is Mexican Allies on the sixth day of the Trescendo. Today is Chicoase Cuautli, six eagle. And today is very simple. Can you imagine a mix of these two animals? One that has a perfect view from a long distance and another one who has a wonderful sense of smell and of the a developed sense of hearing is uh, there is no way that you cannot know what is coming the only way that you can avoid the knowledge of what is coming is to making a big fool of yourself and uh, appealing to your obliviousness and saying, oh, I didn't notice, but you know what is coming. And uh, you have two choices, to know what is coming and go for it, because this is something that you want. The eagle is watching the rabbit or whatever she wants to eat. And the dog, even, even if he's not seeing it, he knows what is coming, and perhaps he, he wasn't actually looking for it, but he is finding it. So there's this animal that looks for things, and this other one who finds things. So you're gonna get there. So it's long distance, it's there, right? It's in a long distance. Some people say, oh, long distance is not really for me because I cannot feel things. Okay, but perhaps it's a little bit short of imagine, imagination or the, um, how do you say this? Um, a lack of experience using your other senses because uh, if you can smell it clear, and you can listen to it super clear and you can see it as if it was right in front of your eyes here. Well, it's there, right? Oh, yeah, but I cannot touch it or taste it. Well, uh, it will come eventually. But uh, at least three of your senses, three from five, they are fulfilled. So while well, the other two come, you can enjoy your senses that perhaps you're not using too much and develop them and uh, realize that what you want it's already yours and also sometimes we think oh yeah I know what and I know where but uh, I don't know when and how and this is what gets me desperate well don't worry so much on the when and how because what you have to enjoy is the road. We've heard this so many times. And uh, the only way to understand this, it's, well, very simple, by traveling. <laughs> if you know what it's like to enjoy the trip you have to make a trip and realize that all the things that happen during the trip are the most exciting part of the trip and not the destination because sometimes you get there and it's raining or <laughs> the hotel is a mess or uh, <laughs> um, I had this friend that went to India and he thought that uh, it was going to be smelling everything of incense and spices and all he could smell was diesel so he was picturing something else and perhaps he missed all the details that came beautifully along the road. So today we have a coincidence of gods. It's a Shipetotec because it's one of the gods of the Tresen and it's also the god for the, the eagle. Shipetotec was the god with no skin and what he takes care of is the new vegetation. He takes care of all the tiny little plants that are growing and reminds us that if you take them in your hands, 
You're gonna kill them. You need a little bit of distance because otherwise they will die. You already planted them, they already sprouted. Now all you have to do is make sure that they are okay and safe even from yourself. And this is it. Whatever is coming, it's coming, it's already there. The plant is already an oak or an apple tree. It's just this little, but it's going to become that. You just need more than patience, it's a presence. Presence and enjoy every part of the process of seeing it grow. But you already know what it is. You planted it, it's like it's an apple tree. You chose it. Oh yeah, but it's going to take at least five years to give its first fruit. Okay, what is coming? And uh, this is what you wanted. So, while the first apple appears and you can taste it and touch it, you use your ears, you use your eyes, and you use your nose to perceive every sound that surrounds this tree, every smell of the earth, and every little sprinkle and shine from every drop of water that is going to hang from its little trees every time it rains or you water it or it's a dawn. If you miss these details, then you're gonna miss everything. So today enjoy this beautiful road with the people that you love the most, uh, your flock or your gang of dogs, so to speak, the other guys in your life, friends and family that will sleep on the same corners as you, that, uh, that will scratch their ears and just smell everything and uh, and be glad because uh, no matter what happens and what happened before and uh, what is going on, you still have a, a tail to shake. So shake it.